I want to explain you why, in my opinion, this color temperature meter app might be a game changer when it comes to display calibrations. Yes, a mobile app. And the reason is, regardless of the cell phone camera that you are using, and regardless of the measurement, regardless of the number that your cell phone is telling you, let's say you get 7,000K, it is going to give you a consistent reading across most of the grayscale. So how can you take advantage of that? And the reason why I say most of the grayscale is because you know, the darkest pictures, so from 0 to 255 on SDR, you have full screen gray slides. I can start measuring on the picture 18. Okay, below that, the cell phone camera is not, it's not, gonna, it's not going to be able to give me a reading with that app, okay? But the reason why I say that is because regardless of that measurement, let's say you get 7,000K, okay? It is consistent, okay? So you're going to get, if the display is perfectly calibrated, let's say you pay a professional TV calibrator and you have a reference monitor, okay? Let's say that that app is completely wrong. Okay, you get 7,000K when it should be 6,500. It doesn't matter. What matters is that the app is going to give you a consistent reading, which you can take advantage of. For example, let's say you buy a TV and you watch a review and the reviewer, which is a TV calibrator or somebody who knows, tells you, Okay, this is the most accurate white balance, the closest to D65 out of the box. Just use you know, warm 50 on this LG OLED. You don't have to change that color temperature. So let's say that the app is reading 7000. Well, you're going to assume <laughs> that that 7000 is 6500K. And what you're going to do is you're going to calibrate the display to be 7,000 across the entire grayscale, and you can use a two point calibration or 10 point, 20, 22 point calibration depending on your display on the options that you have. Okay, so if you can get a more consistent white balance across the entire grayscale without changing anything, without changing the magenta to green balance without changing the color temperature reading that the app is giving you, you are going to get a better result than the out of the box settings, 100%, <laughs> no question about it. So you are basically 100% upgrading the picture quality of your display. <laughs> it's that simple. And I tested this with all the displays that I have, with my LG C1, with two plasma TVs, <laughs> even with my LCD IPS gaming monitor, okay? So that is huge, man. That's absolutely huge. So now, what else can you do with this app? Well, let's say that you are looking at skin tones and they look too red or they look too green. For example, with this app, you have a green to magenta balance that is very sensitive to any changes. Of course, that sensitivity may be depend on the cell phone that you are using. Cell phone camera you are using is definitely important. Okay, there's no question about that. But I was shocked to see how precise. I'm telling you, I have the green color here on my remote, I increase it in one click and the app knows and tells me you're leaning towards green, okay? So if you're looking at skin tones and you see some Martian looking faces, you can calibrate towards magenta a little bit, you know, 0.001 leaning towards magenta. So let's say that your app is telling you leaning towards green, 0.003. You can then calibrate to be 
0.002 leaning towards green and that is going to reduce those you know Martian looking faces and if you want to reduce that even more you can lower it to 0.001 leaning towards green okay <laughs> so that's fantastic it basically it is going to allow you to change the hue of your display I think that's the that's the correct terminology which is basically you can shift the color the colors of your display to be leaning more towards magenta okay and I think that's absolutely amazing because you can make sure that any changes that you do you're still getting the accurate out of the box white balance which is you know the closest to d65 but at the same time you are making a change on the picture quality okay you're making a change that makes sense and you can try before and after it's that simple you could for example on this lg uh, oleds what i do is i create different settings in different picture modes and i change between them so i can see the changes immediately okay so I do not use game optimizer mode because game optimizer mode has some has to disable some processing for the input lag. So what I do is I use other modes. So when I change from one mode to the other, I see the change immediately. So in that way, I can I can see the change happening so fast that I can clearly tell which one looks better to me. Okay, and I try that in different kind of contents in, in games and you know skin tones anything you want that's absolutely amazing you have in your hands something that is going to almost guarantee you if you work just a little bit it's gonna almost guarantee you you're going to get a better picture quality than out of the box and you don't even need to play around with changing the white balance or with changing you know, the green to magenta balance just by making sure that you have a consistent color temperature you're going to improve the picture quality it's that simple <laughs> and I've done that with my LGC one and this looks so fantastic I'm like how is this possible okay the other thing that I've learned with this app and I am definitely going to give you and work in some reduced blue light settings because the other thing I've learned with this app is that I can reduce the blue and at the same time reduce that yellow looking picture. Because what most people don't like about warm 50 on these LG OLEDs or a warmer color temperature is that you get that yellow looking. People don't like that. Well, I know how to reduce that yellow looking <laughs> while reducing the blue so what i am planning to do and i am going to take my time on this because these settings are very important to me very important to me what i'm going to do is i am going to create the best blue light reduction settings possible and the reason is sometimes i want to play before going to sleep and I do not want to use this blue light filter on the TV because the picture quality looks like crap. Okay, but at the same time, I know that if I play with eye searing brightness before going to sleep, I'm not going to sleep very well. Okay, because the blue lights, they affect your circadian rhythm. <laughs> they just messed up with your sleep and they are bad for your eyes, but we need them for picture quality. But I know now how to reduce the blue significantly and not have the picture looking warmer if that makes sense it's going to make sense once you see the settings you're gonna scratch your head and say how is this possible it just looks so gentle to my eyes but still I still I'm still able to see the colors <laughs> how is that possible I'm going to achieve that with this app so to summarize man this is absolutely amazing just to learn about this displays to see how it works just to play around with it just for science purposes <laughs> i'm definitely enjoying 
this app a lot. Also, I'm gonna show you on a video how I have my Plasma TV looking in comparison with the LG C1. It is frightening <laughs> how close they look in terms of the colors. They're still different, okay? Two different technologies and I have to match the brightness and the color saturation, which is also different, but it is just closer than ever thanks to that app okay so i am using my eyes ultimately you have to use your eyes to decide which option is better so what i'm going to recommend you is to do multiple calibrations okay so you can switch back and forth and decide which one is the best so you create one with a you know warmer color temperature you can create another one leaning towards magenta a little bit more or lean towards green a little bit more and see how that compares with a factory calibration. You can create even a cooler white balance. Some people don't like it warm, <laughs> they like it cool. And a cooler, a cooler white balance is gonna give you a little bit more brightness too. If you just want ice searing brightness, you can also achieve that. Just get a cooler, but at the same time, make sure that that green to magenta balance is the same as the factory so you get a picture that is not too far away from well it's going to be far away from an accurate picture because it's cool but it's gonna look good which is what matters at the end so let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions 